Hello everybody, Scratch coming out with another video. This video I want to talk about Septimus, how to one-shot the Spider 20 and how to optimize your enemy max HP champions to output the best possible damage. Septimus, the only legendary in the game that has an enemy max HP based skill, is with no doubt the heaviest hitter in the game. So today we are not going to talk about his utility in clan boss, we are going to talk about his utility in dungeons, more specifically the Spider dungeon. First, let's have a look at his gear. He's on a Savage set and a Cruel set. Both of the bonus sets added up together will ignore a total of 30% of the enemy defense, which makes him hit extremely hard. His total stats are 35k HP, 3.7k attack, 1.9k defense, 181 speed, 79% crit rate, 285 crit damage and 247 accuracy. His A2 really does not scale on attack, so you can give him a HP chest or a defense percentage chest piece, it's not a problem. The more attack he has, only his A1 will get affected by it, his A2 it will not get affected by it. Mastery wise, we picked uh, offense and support tree. Support tree is really not important here, the reason I picked support tree because I'm using him in Faction Wars and I needed to have that evil eye on him. On the Offense tree, we picked Deadly Precision, Skin Strike, Heart of Glory, Whirlwind of Death, Ruthless Ambush, Wrath of the Slain, Bring It Down, Methodical, Kill Streak, and Helm Smasher. Now, talking about how to optimize your enemy max HP champion, it all comes down to two things, gear and masteries. The best two sets are Savage and Cruel. To get a good Savage set, I admit is a real pain, but uh, Cruel sets they drop daily from clan boss rewards, and using three Cruel sets on your Septimus, Royal Guard, Cold Heart, or even Armiger will make them ignore 15% of the target's defense. Damage-wise, uh, that's the equivalent of more than 20 to 30% crit damage. Mastery-wise now, it's really important for you to be able to get on them in Strike, Heart of Glory, Ruthless Ambush, Bring It Down, Methodical, Kill Streak, and uh, Helm Smasher. That being said guys, let's move over to the part where we one shot the spider and uh, I'll explain you everything that's required to do it. So in order to do that, we will need Belelkazar's lead for that 25% uh, increased crit rate and a 15% extra damage from his passive on targets under a poison debuff. We need someone who applies weaken and defense down. We are using big gun for termiter control and we have another champion who will be sacrificed for the rest of the slain mastery which increases damage by 5% for each dead ally. We are going to apply a weaken and defense down, the poison uh, debuff from Big Gun, uh, from uh, Badal Khazar, the Termiter control. We're going to use uh, Septimus's A1 just randomly. A bit of more Termiter control from that A1. Now, Wrath of the Slain got activated uh, when we lost uh, our ally here. The next step is to activate the kill streak, which increases the damage by 3% for each enemy killed uh, and stacks up to 12%. It's a pretty easy thing to do as long as you have the right champions for it. We go 1, 2, 3. We got the fourth, and now we're just gonna use his A2. And we got 5.479 million damage. Pretty, pretty hard. If you guys enjoyed this video, thumbs up, subscribe for more uh, videos, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Stay safe and uh, take care.